A Heart Like Jesus, I Do Not Have by Jennifer Waddle, read by Ellie Johnson. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Jeremiah 17, 9. The phrase, follow your heart, is perhaps the most popular maxim of all time. Especially now in the 21st century, the advice to trust your instincts or do what feels right permeates every aspect of our culture. I don't know about you, but my heart is unreliable, wishy-washy, and sometimes selfish. In fact, the Bible is most accurate when it says the heart is deceitful and desperately sick, Jeremiah 17, 9. But here is our consolation. Even though Jesus knew the condition of our hearts, he still chose to give his life. For while we were still sinners, Christ died for us, Romans 5, 8. Isn't that humbling? We may not have hearts like Jesus, perfect in love and sacrificial unto death, but we can still be followers after God's own heart. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Psalm 51, 10 through 11. David was considered a man after God's own heart. Here are three scriptures that explain why. One. One thing I have desired of the Lord that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Psalm 27, 4. David desired the presence of the Lord more than anything else. He didn't value earthly things or worldly status more than he longed to dwell with God forever. Having a heart after God means that we long for his presence and desire intimate fellowship with him. Second, I will praise you with uprightness of heart. When I learn your righteous judgments, I will keep your statutes. Psalm 4, 7 through 8. Obedience was at the heart of David's devotion to God. He was eager to learn the Lord's statutes and keep his commandments. David was far from perfect, yet he longed for truth and worshiped with integrity. Having a heart after God means that we desire to know his righteousness and are committed to walk in his ways. I will meditate on your precepts and contemplate your ways. I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Psalm 4, 15 through 16. Third, he raised up for them David as king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will do all my will. Acts 13, 22. Apart from his own will, David sought to carry out God's plan for his life. He surrendered his own agenda for the Lord's good, pleasing, and perfect will. The heart that chases after God is willing to lay down everything to fulfill the Lord's purpose. No matter where God calls them to go, people after God's own heart give up selfish ambition for the sake of His glory. We may not have hearts like Jesus, But abiding in His presence, keeping His statutes, and surrendering to His will, we too can be considered people after God's own heart. Hey everyone, thanks for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, a production of the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed what you heard today, we'd love for you to head over to iTunes and rate and review our podcast. It really does help people find us. This episode was produced by our managing editor, Kelly Givens, and recorded and edited by Stephen Sanders. Be sure to come back tomorrow as we examine more of God's Word.